As part of any ESD control program, one of the most important aspects is the grounding of personnel. We're going to demonstrate a couple ways of, of grounding. There are two main ways. There's wrist strap systems or foot or flooring systems. If you're sitting, you must use a wrist strap system. So we have three different types of wrist strap systems we'd like to demonstrate. And we have two types of foot or flooring systems we'd like to demonstrate today. The wrist strap will be a, first one will be a daily wear wrist strap, which is the most common. And then we'll do two continuous monitor wrist straps to show you how they work and how you connect to them. We'll then show you footwear flooring system with a shoe and with heel straps. And we'll demonstrate the effectiveness of each one. So the first thing we want to demonstrate is testing a what we call daily wear or the most common type of wrist strap. This is a single wire wrist strap that has a one mega ohm resistor in here. We're a checker for continuity. There are many different types of wrist strap testers on the market. This is one in particular. So the first thing you do is you get a fail. That's because I'm not plugged in. But it does check to make sure the battery's working in this one and the fact that this is working. So for this tester, simply plug it into Banana Jack and I get a pass. So I'm good to go. And for those who want to know, no, it doesn't matter which hand you use. So either hand can get will give you a pass if this is correctly connected. So we tested our daily wear wrist strap. Now we're going to do a continuous monitor. This continuous monitor does a couple things. It monitors the ground connection through the mat, and it will also monitor our wrist strap. This particular setup uses a resistance type, so this wrist strap is actually has a split in it, and it measures the resistance across it when it's working. But first, let's look at the workstation monitor. Right now, there's no lights on, and the workstation's connected. If I disconnect ground, this should alarm and tell us we have a fault. So I'm going to disconnect it. You'll see the red light come on, and you'll hear the audible alarm. So again, that monitors the connection to ground. It does not monitor the surface as good, so you still have to do your testing of the work surfaces like you normally would do. Secondly, now we're going to do the wrist strap. So instead of testing every day and then walking over to your workstation, this one will test continuously throughout the day. So first I'm going to plug it in. I'm not going to be connected, and you'll see that it'll alarm telling me there's something wrong. And what's wrong is I'm not in the circuit yet. So it didn't see my resistance. So now I'm gonna put the wrist strap on and we're gonna plug it in. And if it's working, it should be quiet and the green light LED should come on saying that I'm connected. And as you can see, it is. If for some reason during the day I become disconnected, it should alarm. And it didn't. So that's the first continuous monitor system. So another type of continuous monitor that I'd like to demonstrate just uses the regular single wire. Again, this is just a single wire mat. If we look, we have a, a different type of continuous monitor. This one also does the mat and the operator. So the first light that's on the green light, that'll monitor your mat connection to ground. Your second one is your operator. So first let's demonstrate that the mat will actually monitor the ground. I'll disconnect it like I did the other one and it should alarm. And as you see, it, it will alarm. Next, we're going to plug the wrist strap in. Again, I'm not going to put myself in the loop. We'll see what happens. It says red, so it's not connected. So now I'll put my wrist strap on. And you can see that now it knows that I'm in the loop and that my wrist strap's connected and working. If I disconnect, it now alarms. You can see when I disconnected, it did turn red and it also alarmed. So this is a different type of continuous monitor. As far as effectiveness, using either the daily wear or either continuous monitoring systems or any other continuous monitoring systems, 
the effectiveness of a wrist strap is the same, and we'll demonstrate that in a second. Now we've done the testing for both wrist straps, and we're going to show the effectiveness of both the wrist strap system and the footwear flooring system. Right now, I'm going to show you the effectiveness of the wrist strap system. So I have myself connected to a way to measure my body voltage. And you start it, and on an uncontrolled floor, you can see by simply just walking around, you create a lot of voltage on the body, which would not be good. Effective a wrist strap system. I have my wrist strap. Put it on snug. I've already pre-tested this. It's connected to ground. And if you notice, no voltage generation. So wrist strap, and it doesn't matter if it's a wrist strap that's a daily wear or a continuous monitor, will work like that. So now we're going to test our footwear to make sure that that's working. In this case, I have two ESD control shoes on that I will be using on ESD control floor. I have a metal plate connected to a tester. Simply step on the plate, one foot. I get a pass. Step on the plate with the other foot. And I get a pass. So we're good. We're now we can use these on our ESD control floors. One thing to note is how to correctly put on a heel strap. Putting on shoes, there's nothing special to do, but heel straps, you need to make sure you have them connected correctly. So this goes on the heel, as you can see. Top part comes around and makes a snug fit. So it stays on like that. Then you take the tail and it has to be tucked in. Either you can take it inside your sock next to the skin, or you can take it like mine is, is connected underneath my sock, between my sock and the shoe. What's important, no matter how you connect the tails, to make sure you test right. If you test okay, your connection's good. But make sure the tail is connected to your skin somehow. If you don't use shoes, heel straps are another way people use to measure, to connect to the floor. You notice I have heel strap on both heels, that's important, you can't wear just one. And you test them the same way you test shoes. Go on the plate. I'm gonna pass on my left, my right on here. I'm gonna pass on my right. So I'm good to go with heel straps. So as we stated, it is important that you ground yourself in your EPA. And just demonstrate how effective flooring footwear system can be. In this case, we're going to do a flooring footwear system. I have my ESD control shoes on. I'm going to start measuring my body voltage. And you can see on the screen that if I just walk a little bit, I generate a significant amount of voltage. Simply stepping on the ground floor with my footwear, I generate anything else. I'm now at zero, it's safe for me to work because my footwear flooring system is keeping me grounded.